just retired as an aerobics instructor, put your hands together for the comedy of George Zolano! How you doing? I know you're looking at me, aerobics instructor. <laughs> He looks more like the poster boy for the buffet. That, that, that's what he looks like. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy because I, I don't always do comedy. I also model during the day. And uh, maybe you see my commercial before, ma'am? Uh, I do the before pictures for Nutrisystem. Uh, 325 pounds uh, up to about a year ago. I've been on every possible diet. Uh, I was on slim fast for a while. <laughs> Never lost a pound. Could have been that cup of sugar I was putting in that crummy chocolate shake they were giving me. <laughs> I was also on Jenny Craig for a while. She just kept on screaming, get off of me, fat boy, you're crushing me. <laughs> I went as far as trying that Richard Simmons deal with me. You know, that's when they show you pictures of food of guards. <laughs> I started gambling. What's that, broccoli? Hit me. Lettuce and tomato, hit me again, damn it. I'm looking for the cheesecake. Come on! But I'm trying to do the 90s thing now, you know, I'm trying to get in shape, you know, and it's, it's so hard, right? Because I tried that Stairmaster. I can't stand it. I, I'm waiting for, like, a new one. Excavator Master. So much better. And I'm tired of you guys who are always in shape telling me what to do, you know, like, hey, dude, I run 10 miles a day. I power walk five miles a day. Well, I have a car. <laughs> I don't want to see your butt out on the street because I want to run you over. I mean, I'm going to do it, man. <laughs> Tell you how bad a shape I am, though. The other night I had a dream that I was running. But when I woke up, I had pulled a muscle on my butt, man. <laughs> Honey, get out the bengue. I've been dreaming again. <laughs> but I always hear the comments though as I walk up and down in my speedos on Lido Deck. I... <laughs> there goes a man with the body of a god. <laughs> Buddha, you know. Cause... <laughs> like you heard, uh, my name is George Lano. I'm originally from uh, Colombia, South America. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any Colombians in the half by James? <laughs> okay, I guess the DEA did a good job today, huh? Because <laughs> what's the first thing that pops into your head when you think about Colombia? <laughs> Coffee, thank you very much, right? <laughs> One thought this just pops into your head right there, man. <laughs> I do have to clear up a few misconceptions about us, right? Because he, most people think like the first word we say as children is kilo. <laughs> that would be for train before we're toilet train, man. In order for us to pass high school, we gotta know how many ounces in a pound, how many pounds go in a kilo, and how many kilos do we need to be driving a Mercedes? <laughs> Three, but anyway, uh, I, I do hate those Juan Valdez commercials, I hate them, man. From the mountains of Colombia, this is Juan Valdez. He picks every coffee bean by himself, come on. If he picks every coffee bean by himself, he ain't doing it on coffee alone. <laughs> and what the hell is he still doing running a damn donkey to work? For God's sake, Juan, get off your ass, get a broke, man. Eh? Any other Latinos, any more Hispanics in here? Let me hear you. <laughs> we got everybody else. Damn, hold on to your wallets. They're everywhere. <laughs> any Cubans? Cubans? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, on a boat? What a shocker! I used to read it more often, but now my neighbor gets up earlier. <laughs> I was reading there's 30 million Hispanics in America now, 30 million. You know, by the year 2015, there's going to be 90 million. I know some of you go, damn, I'm moving back to Arkansas. <laughs> but that's all right, because we're going to show up there too. <laughs> you know, we're going to have 
Hispanic hillbillies. All right, we'll be, we'll be called his village, you know, but uh, we won't be that hard to spot, right? Our names will be uh, Billy Bob Hernandez. We'll be the ones driving the low riding tractors with the fuzzy dice in front. Our specialty dish will be uh, possum fajitas, yeah. places you guys never seen us before, like the Price is Right. <laughs> oh yeah, one day Bob Barker's gonna go, Jose Rodriguez, come on down! 900 guys who rush the stick. 37 years old, I celebrated my 37th birthday uh, last December, and three months prior to that, I celebrated my 20th wedding anniversary, 20 years. In fact, uh, last in fact, I got married so young, I had my reception at Chuck E. Cheese. I, uh, <laughs> we were registered at Toys R Us, man. I, and I got three girls, so PMS at my house stands for Permanent Menstrual Syndrome. <laughs> oh, even my little one comes up to me. Don't worry about it, Daddy. Someday I'm going to be a witch, just like Mom. <laughs> a parent though, that's the best thing in life, you know? Now one of my daughters is losing her teeth, right? My wife comes up to me and says, honey, let's give her five dollars. I go, no way, let's give her 50 cents, because kids don't know the meaning of money. Yeah, right? Comes up to me, no daddy, the tooth fairy's a cheap bastard like you! Here's ten dollars, shut up, man. I, uh... And you guys don't know the meaning of parenthood, so you have to go to a three and a half hour Barney concert. He may love me, but I want to put a hit on him, man. I can't stand him. <laughs> a lot of Barney haters. Yeah, let's do it. And now they have that cartoon channel 24 hours a day. My daughters make me watch that, too. And then we got to play pretend games. I kind of hate that, too, because the other day we were pretending to be Tom and Jerry. And I was, like, running really fast around the corner. And all of a sudden, wham, a frying pan on my face. <laughs> much time to react because my foot wasn't fire at the time. <laughs> then she started screaming, the Tasmanian devil, the Tasmanian devil. I looked up and he was my mother-in-law. Wow. <laughs> I hate it. My dad made me take a philosophy class when I was in seventh grade. The stupidest class I ever took, man. One time they gave us a test that said, in 500 words or less, prove to me that this chair doesn't exist. I just wrote down, what chair? And turned my paper. <laughs> I actually graduated through correspondence school. I, uh, it was a proud day, the day of my graduation, you know. There I was, standing by the mailbox in my gown. It was a proud day. I do live in Miami because it's the law. Any Miami people here? Oh, the Hollywood people, we're right here, and we're on a witness protection program, so please. <laughs> In Hollywood, yeah. It's kind of Miami, yeah. We're all together now, man. Right? It's true. It used to be like what? Now we're... Yeah, but now we're just like five million people living and breaking into each other's homes. We're number one in crime, aren't we? We're so proud of that, too, huh? <laughs> one thing we have there is uh, bicycle cops. You seen those? Oh, I can't, I can't. I got pulled over by one of them, and he's so degrading, you know? I also found out why they have such bad attitudes, because it takes them so damn long to catch up to your car. <laughs> I was going to ask me, you know why I pulled you over? Obviously, he wasn't speeding. <laughs> it's just the wrong thing to tell to a pissed off cop, you know? And the questions get even stupider. Is December 11th the day of your birthday? Yes, sir. Of one year? Of every year. <laughs> he did not like that one. So after the beating, I went on. He actually wanted to give me a DUI, but he was dyslexic, so he gave me an IUD. I'm picking 
have cable much better now. And he actually was so bad, he just pulled me out of the car, handcuffed me, and threw me on the handlebars. Man, oh! He was so out of shape, half a block later, he's going, The right side, boy, get off my bike. He actually gave me a speeding ticket, and I knew I wasn't speeding because I drive a Yugo Turbo with an air conditioning that doubles as an emergency brake. The minute I put it on, my car comes to a complete halt. And everybody makes fun of Yugos now, because, you know, I walked in the other day and said, excuse, excuse me, sir, can I get a hitch for my Yugo? The guy goes, yeah, that sounds like a fair trade, uh-huh, yeah. problem in Florida too, right? Do you guys have a roach problem at home? Okay, because they all hang out at my house. Okay, I get it. They're getting so big and so cocky. I walked into my kitchen the other night. This one was wearing a ninja outfit, man. <laughs> Shaking the box break. Hey, fat boy. You got any more? I didn't even realize how bad of a roach problem I had until I looked at my roach motel and he's a crack house. So.